Hey everybody, Anel here with NKY Honeybees. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, today I have a brand new toy. I waited um, several months to receive one of these hives and it's finally here. I'm super excited. So this is a Hive IQ beehive. It's manufactured by Hive IQ company and they're based out of Australia. So they did the first shipment to US and I've got three hives. I've met them back on Hive Life conference um, in Tennessee. And I was really impressed with the hive and I really like the design and everything. So today I wanted to share with you how to assemble this hive and we'll talk about the hive as we go through assembly. So we'll assemble uh, the bottom board, one of the boxes and then the top. There are a um, couple of tips I want to share with you, um, with, especially with the top, uh, because I received this from Hive IQ themselves and I kind of missed it when I did my first one, so I had to redo it. So let's get started here. Let's uh, put one together and talk about the hive. All right, guys, so I got the setup here. Um, I do want to point out, this is a polystyrene hive, as we call it, poly hive here in US mostly, and it is not a wooden hive. So there are a couple of things you have to take in consideration. This is a high dens density poly hive, and on their website, it says that it's six times or more, six or more times more insulated than a wooden hive which I truly believe, I'm sure they've tested that many times, but I do believe it because this is hard rock, high density hive or uh, material, I should say. And I can't wait to put this together. So uh, it comes with bottom board, but it's a uh, ventilated bottom board. It's not a solid bottom board. I don't know if that option is available or it will be in the future if not, but we are limited what we get in US. This is the first shipment and what we get in US is a little bit limited, um, but they will have more and more stuff for the next order, for example. So, a uh, hive is made kind of like a puzzle. Everything fits um, in its place. You cannot make a mistake almost. That's how it's made. I love it. It's actually fairly neat. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and screw this in. The screws are labeled hive base, um, hive body, and top cover. I love that. I love that they actually tell you how to, which screws to use. So let me go ahead and screw these in and then we'll move on. All right, so that one's all set. So next step is go ahead and put the, um, this door here. This is a pollen trap door, I believe. This is gonna be an entrance. I'm not sure I don't have a pollen trap, so I can't really demo it. I know it's part of pollen trap um, uh, setup. So we'll go ahead and that fits right in. It has its grooves in here, put it right in and then go ahead and screw that in. All right, so that's all set. So next step is go ahead and put the entrance in. Entrance is really cool. So also sits right in the front. It has four screws, and then you can use these to min minimize the entrance, close it all the way, open it some, and so on. So we'll go ahead and put that in. Four more screws. All right, so that's in. So next step, there's a couple of hinges that go on the side for the entrance, which is actually neat. We'll close this. They snap right in. There, there are holes and they snap in. I'll show you what these do. So you can open them up and then move these, for example. You can close these two sides. Move this back. It doesn't fall down. Same thing here. Really cool design, actually. It's pretty neat. I like it. You can close it all the way. So we'll just leave that alone for a second. So that's it for the top, top piece. That's what it looks like. So now... If you flip this over, there's a couple other things that are NFC tags. Uh, you can download, download their app, scan these and get um, information about your app that you added there. So they fit right in here in the front. All right, so we got the tags in. So next thing is we're gonna put these um, rails on here. So what these are, these are for the Varro tray. The tray you can slide in, put on the bottom. It comes from behind or the front. I'm not sure yet, I don't have one. Again, we are a little bit limited here, so I don't have too many accessories. I will order one as we go on, as they become available. So it just sits on here, again, using screws, put three screws in, and you'll have another one on the other side too. So that's it. That's it for the bottom board, it's simple as that. It's just a lot of screws. If you use a screwdriver, it might take you a little while. Maybe that's recommended, I'm not sure. But I don't mind using a drill, it just makes things faster. So we'll put this aside and we're gonna move on next to, uh, actually we're gonna assemble one of the boxes. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and assemble one of the boxes. So I've prepared here what I need for one of the boxes. Basically, two short sides and two long sides. That's all we need. Uh, so these are pretty cool, actually. So these protect you from hive tools and everything on these boxes. And they also click in. So they, they actually click into each other um, to eliminate the draft between like a wooden hive has um, going around the hive. So um, again, this is like a puzzle. All the pieces fit in, they just slide in. So this is really easy and well made. So that way you can really make a mistake. So you have a top and a bottom. They are uh, a little bit of difference. Oops, a little bit of a difference uh, when it comes to size. See, they just slide in. Hopefully you can see that. So the profile is lower on one, the bottom one. So we'll go ahead and do that on another one. We'll do the same thing. Just slide this right in. Oh, that's the wrong one, see? How can you tell? Because they fit perfectly. Snug, just like that. And the last one on this side. Yep, they come right to the middle and that's it for these two. Well, not, that's not it. We got a couple of things, the corners we got to put in. So the corners go, again, they can only fit on the right side where they're supposed to be, which is really cool. Now, just working with this, this is super thick. I, I believe it's 1.6 inches thick and I can definitely see this being well insulated and better than a wooden box. But we're going to test it this year and see how things go. I'll have um, all three of these full of bees and we'll see how it performs. If I can find the right one here. Here we go. Slides right in and then we need the last one. I guess this is the biggest confusion is just getting these, getting these corners in. Here we go. So that's what it looks like. So let's do the other side too. All right, I had to go find another piece. I had the wrong piece here. So these are a little bit different profile than the bottom ones. Same thing again. So the next thing, once you have this um, put together, only takes a couple of minutes, you want to add some glue. I usually add glue down in these um, grooves here, and then I'll put the side in. So let's go ahead and do that next. Um, I don't think you want too much glue, to be honest, because you are using screws to screw these together. So it's up to you, but I wouldn't put too much because you might have glue coming out all over the place. I'll just put them in all six holes or 12 on both of these. All right, make sure these are in. The next step is actually putting these, these in here. You want to make sure you put them on um, the bottoms. They match down here and they only fit in the bottom anyway. So that's, they slide right in like a puzzle. All of this is like a puzzle. I'm actually amazed how well it works. So let's put this one in as well. This way you can see this side coming in. See how that slides? I'll move this. That slides right in here in these grooves and these corners and closes right up. It's pretty perfectly made. I'm actually surprised, but it is well made. All right, let's put these back. Perfect. And then we're going to put this one right on top like so. And this is going to all come together. We're going to have a box, my friends. Make sure you push it in really tight. Make sure it's all in there. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So that's what it looks like assembled. I do want to put the screws in before I start moving it around. So the screws go right up here, up top. And then there is a cover that covers this and you hide the screws and everything. All right, so let me put the screws around.
All right, so this box is done and that's what it looks like when it's done. It's awesome. There is a couple of things we gotta add on these other edges, which I'm gonna do right now. So let me take a look. This is the top. So the top and the bottom is a little bit different. They recommend you start out here from outside, put this in here. When you're putting this, you should just snap in. There you go. See, it snaps right in. Let's do the other one. Here we go. One box is done, my friends. So we got the bottom board and one of the hive bodies done. Beautiful. It's really strong. Like when you touch these, these are really, really strong. It looks really insulated. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to move to the top. And then we're going to talk about the final um, product in the hive. All right. So there is the last part, which is the top cover. Um, this is a pretty cool top cover, actually. If I can get it out. Here we go. This piece here is metal. And then this is poly. So the way you assemble this in the bottom, you would put these plastic uh, edges on. I believe these go on first. Again, fit right in. And they, they go on here and then they get screwed in here. There we go. They fit right in. Uh, maybe I should put these on first. Here we go. Yeah, that might be easier. Just make sure they sit in really good. Here we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and take these screws and screw all of this around. And then we'll go to the next step. All right, so we got this part all screwed in. A lot of screws. Make sure you pull the screws in. That's going to prevent this from bending and warping from the elements. And that's why this part is also important. So what they're asking us to do is actually go ahead and take this lid up here. But before you put it on, you should glue this. Put some glue again in here like you did in the hives. Put it right over here. Um, if you haven't, you probably received an email they sent out um, actually reminding people because... For example, I missed it the first time, didn't read all the instructions, you know, happens all the time. And that's going to keep this from bending or warping uh, from the sun and rain and so on. So let's go ahead and add, add some glue in here. So what I'll do, I'll just go through here. Not too much. I wouldn't add too much glue. To be honest, it's going to hold it, I'm pretty sure. And when you press this down, it's going to also um, spread this out. Just a little bit here. I believe this should be it. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a little bit of the corners here too. I think corners are really important just to hold this down. So put some on the corners. It's not going to hurt. Maybe one line here. I don't think there is like a set way of doing this, but I don't know. I think that's good. I'm going to put one more here on this edge. And that's about it for me. So next thing you want to do is align this. It aligns with this. There is a sign here. High of IQ. Align it. And go ahead and place this down. Press this down really good. So the glue catches everywhere. And if you have something like a cinder block or something, put it on here. Let this set in real good. I'm going to put one on, but right after the video. So that's it for the assembly for the top. So let me put the hive together. Then I'm going to give you a couple other things I learned about this hive. All right, guys, as you can see, it's a simple assembly. Everything fits together. It's like a puzzle. I really love it. It's really, really well made. That's what it looks like when it's all uh, said and done. When you order one for the U.S. market, what you get is three of the boxes. They hold nine deep frames. They're not eight frame or ten frame. They're nine deep frames. Each box holds that much. And it does come with a bottom board, top board, and does come with a queen um, excluder. A metal one fits perfectly in there. I love it. So the quality on this hive feels extremely well made. And I'm sure this is going to insulate the bees a lot better than a wooden box, in my opinion. 
Um, these um, here, these plastic things, they click into each other, which eliminates that draft that goes in between there. And then the design, I love the design. You can paint these high using latex, water-based paint. You don't have to. I've heard people say they don't paint them, they use them just like this and the weather doesn't really damage them. I'm probably gonna paint mine. If you've seen my apiary, you, you saw that I have thousand colors in there. I just enjoy painting these hives. So I'll go ahead, paint them. And then this Saturday, probably I'm gonna make some splits, add some bees in here. And then we're gonna test this throughout the winter and next year. I'll keep you updated as we go on. So if you don't mind, hit that like, um, it'll help me out. Leave me some comments. Did you get one? What you think? Um, what do you think about this hive? Do you like it? Do you like the design? I don't know, the quality is superior to me, but then um, we'll test this out and make sure that it holds up to its name. All right, guys, so thank you um, for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.